Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So this week we are putting a little Christmas cheer into both of our office spaces. Um, we're in here all the time anyway, so might as well. Um, it's been really fun to be able to decorate each space. Um, I feel like each tree that you guys will see represents both of us. Um, my tree has a glam vibe going on because of course my office space is inspired by that. I'm doing nice feminine shades of white and brass um so that's the background behind, behind my uh, tree and with matt's tree i was able to repurpose some ornaments from last year so again in the spirit of being resourceful um and purposeful we're doing that most definitely all right so let's go ahead and get into this week's walk Hey guys, so this week Kennels partnered with us to help bring in the Christmas spirit a little bit early. And you know, it was kind of fun opening this up like a big Christmas gift. And uh, you guys may have seen them their name before. We actually used one of their chairs in Brittany's office as well. They offer everything from ergonomic chairs all the way up to executive and modern recliner chairs, which is what we have here. Uh, I went with the Freya Power Recliner it supports up to 550 pounds, so it's plenty sturdy to support those eight hours plus of sitting all day and working hard. And also, when you're on break, of course, never during uh, company time, it has a dual motor function, one motor for the, the, the legs and one motor for the back. So you can recline, take a little power nap, and you know, it's, uh, it's really luxurious looking. I like the feel of, of the leather and it came with its own cleaning cream as you can see here so you can keep the chair looking fresh so assembly was really straightforward it was pretty simple um you basically you're just putting the wheels in the, the base and then snapping the two together and you're good to go and you know my favorite part about this chair it's rechargeable yes you don't have to have it plugged in. You recharge it just like you do your phone and it can last up to 30 days plus, uh, depending on how much you use it. So you don't have to worry about tripping over any cords or, or yanking anything out of the wall, anything like that. And I could not wait to get this thing open. The When I actually opened it, I think it, honestly, it looks better in person than it did uh, in the pictures. The pictures just didn't do it justice. It's it, to me, it's more of like a matte black look. So it looks a lot more sleek and a little more modern than it did to me in the pictures. And wow, the, the quality is, is pretty amazing. I'm, I was really impressed. So I couldn't wait to get this in my office. You can really see where Kennel set the goal here to kind of make this chair not, not necessarily just an office chair, right? So the style that this thing gives off, I would even go as far as to say, I could see this in like, you know, maybe like a study, um, a library, something like that, like a reading room, cigar room, a man cave, something like that, where you can just kind of sit back like Brittany's doing here and just having a good read. Um, but just relax, you know, grab a blanket. But what I'm saying is like, it doesn't look like your typical clunky office chair where it can only be in an office. You don't think twice about it. You just sit in it, you do your work and you get up. Um, I think this really adds to the style of any room that you put it in. And the fact that it's rechargeable takes it anywhere. So you can just roll it into the next room. You can, if you have a study connected to a media room, something like that, you can roll it in there. Um, but yeah, you can really use this thing anywhere to just sit back, relax. It can accommodate six different positions with the headrest, so it does move. You can tilt it up if you need a little bit more support. And it's it's just really simple. It's sleek, it's well thought out, and it looks really good. I really like how soft it is. It's so plush, and it's divided into separate parts to where it feels very ergonomic still. Gives you your back support, your head support, 
everything that you need. Um, it, it's built around the human body so that you are comfortable as can be. So I really appreciate Kennels for putting so much thought into this chair. Uh, you can really use this thing anywhere. It doesn't have to just be stuck in an office. You can use it in, in anywhere you see fit that you think that this would look good. Um, but yeah, it, it's really versatile. It's multifunctional. I love the fact that it's rechargeable. It's very comfortable. I, you know, I've used it for, yeah, a whole week now. And I must say this thing is like super comfortable. I don't even want to get up. So as expected, the chair fits the aesthetic of the office perfectly. And you can see again here, it has like a matte sheen to it. And my walls are matte black, so it matches perfect. I could not ask for more. Kimmel's does a great job of that, of packaging, value, and style all together for a great price. And so we just wanted to show you guys also that uh, both of us are sitting in the chair just to, to display that it supports bigger frames, smaller frames, and you can still be comfortable. And here on the side, you can see the dual switches. So if you don't want to lift your feet up, you don't have to, but you can do full max recline, pretty much like a, like a lay flat seat on a Delta one flight. It's amazing. So you'll, you'll love it. If you like uh, comfort, if you like style, if you like value, it's all here with kennels and I cannot wait, but uh, we'll put a link in the description below and you can get 15% off of your next order. So check them out. So shout out to Costway for sending over these beautiful trees here. Um, I'll be able to share more information next week regarding them, but they are linked to my LTK page, which is in the description if you would like to shop them. Just the perfect pencil tree. Um, so here in our rec space, or not rec space, excuse me, gym space of our um, basement extension that we did over the summer, um, I just feel like this area is just never ending. <laughs> we have so much to do in here, um, but we hopefully will be able to finish it up and wrap it up and actually make it a gym and use it next year because your girl, I'm telling y'all, I need to do something about these extra pounds that's been added on. <laughs> but anyway, so here I am unboxing the tree. It is a seven and a half foot tree um, and it's only about two and a half feet wide. So the perfect little Christmas tree to tuck into any space um, it was very straightforward. It was labeled in terms of what went on the bottom, um, middle, and then at the top. And then also it was kind of like, you can just tell. So here I am taking out Matt's, um, olive tree that's there. Again, another Cosway product, which I absolutely love. Um, but just taking that out and setting it over to the side while we go ahead and set up the Christmas tree. Now in the spirit of um, being repurposed, repurposeful. I am going to be using some ornaments from last year, but I'm just going ahead and fluffing out the tree here. Of course, moving over his bar um, so I can have a little bit more wiggle room within this area. Don't mind the dust. I went ahead and dusted his area, but sometimes it's hard to see because he has all that black in his office. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving it. I love his office space, guys. Like, I really think that it's just so masculine and so mad as you can see him there in <laughs> reflection <laughs> he's just looking at me like girl you're doing too much but you had to have a christmas tree in your office you just have to have that vibe because again even with the kids rooms um i wanted them to have their own trees that reflect them and also like you know in a traditional home like when i was growing up i only had one tree so when it was time to go to bed that was it like you didn't really get to enjoy the tree until you know you got home from school or um, the next day, you know, once you went to bed, it was kind of over, but having your own in your space, you can enjoy it all year long or not all year long, all season long. So again, thank you so much, Kennels. Um, his chair is absolutely 
amazing it's so beautiful it fits his office aesthetic just wonderful and um he's already taken a little snooze in there when he had the flu he was sick so that was an area that you know hey keep your germs over there <laughs> and let me know if you need anything so but getting back to in the within the christmas spirit just decorating mass office here again all of these items that i had in history i had from um last year that i had in evangeline and i just love taking my time decorating our christmas tree i think i'm getting a lot better um at it than i was the very first year in our home and so it just comes together i think that was something that matt said too he was like you don't even have to think about the trees anymore they just come together <laughs> but it just is very therapeutic to me i can just you know spend some time making it look beautiful and and whatnot now it was shaking a little bit because i didn't tighten the base but you'll see that i did that a little bit later it was a little tight within that area so um the girl wasn't going back down there and bending down <laughs> but um it came together though i really enjoy this it's just like i said it's therapeutic it's relaxing and i know that i have one subscriber that had asked me you know how many trees am i gonna have this year and this year in our house we'll have a total of eight christmas trees um, now I don't do them all in one day. Um, I take my time because I like them to be all individual. This year the kids helped with their trees so that kind of took some of the burden off as well. Um, but my main trees that are within my home that are friends, neighbors, family come and see. Um, I just take my time and, and like I said I try to decorate the main level to match my Christmas theme which is merry and bright and you guys will see that next week. But um, within Matt's office it's just I don't really have to do much. It just all came together. So for my office, I did have to go and make a uh, trip over to Hobby Lobby because I decided that I was going to make sure that my tree matched the aesthetic of my office. So um, I needed to get some gold ornaments and I'm not a fan of gold, not at all. However, I can appreciate the beauty of the gold. Um, so yeah, I got these beautiful like rhinestone type of ornaments. Um, I just loved that look of them it just looked really really pretty reminded me of like something on like new year's or, or whatnot plus some of these ornaments i can use next year because my theme next year will be more of like white and gold and brass and copper and those kind of colors so i figured it was dual purpose um so here i am just decorating her again taking my time and just making it look beautiful but i'll go ahead and be quiet and allow you guys to watch her come together
So this was wired ribbon from um, Hobby Lobby. Now this ribbon gave me a run for my money because it had glitter in it and it was getting glitter like all over the floor. <laughs> and I hate glitter, but um, I was able to go ahead and sweep it up. Um, I did that a little bit later on, but um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that she kind of had kind of like a little scarf on the tree just wrapped around her. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love tucking it in. On this particular tree, the branches allowed me to um, fold the branch all around the ribbon to secure it, but my main tree, the branches don't really bend that way, so I did have to get a little bit more creative on that. So you'll see that, like I said, next week. But she's coming together though, I love it, it looks so pretty. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of our beautiful office trees. Um, again, in Matt's office, his tree most definitely fits his vibe. Um, adding a little color here with a white flock tree with the black elements. I love, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love his tree. I think it's so perfect. He has this cute little area too, just to display his tree. And it's nice and tucked in cozy. Um, I was able to use some uh, ornaments that I had in decor pieces from last year. So this tree I got from a dear friend of mine, her name is Meg. So I put that here. I felt like it looked really nice with his decanter set here. And then also just some other things around his um, built-in, but just a little small little things. Um, but I absolutely love it. His chair is amazing. I love it. It's just, it's really nice. I told him like, I want one just like this one, but um, I love his though. And each one of our office chairs fits us uniquely, especially mine being white with my all white office. And then his black executive chair here just fits in his whole, I feel like, like I said, a studio <laughs> vibe in here. So I absolutely love it. I just, his office space, it came together. I know that a lot of people are probably like, well, why did you paint it like completely black? But it just goes, it's very nice and chill in here. I'm surprised he gets any work done because I would be knocked out 
<laughs> but I definitely love it. Um, every time I tell, I come in his office, I'm like, it's just so nice. Like, I love it. And the same thing for him too. When he comes into my office, he loves it too, but it allows us to have two different spaces to go into and get a totally different vibe. So now that we checked out the studio, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out my office. All right, so in my office space, um, I just kept my tree nice and glam with the vibe that's in here. So I did have to get new ornaments for my tree, um, but I did have some of the white ornaments from previous years, but actually no, they're all new. <laughs> so these ones here, um, I love the gold. It's not too much gold. It's not that yellowish brassy kind of gold. It's kind of like a soft gold. So I figured just to have some that are just nice and sparkly. So I have those here. Um, and then also I like these twigs here. Again, it has that gold element with a little frost on it. And then the ribbon also has a nice soft gold tint to it as well with some glitter. I hate glitter, but I went ahead and take, took one for the team because I felt like it just needed that extra something on it. So I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's just enough in the space. When I come um, in in the morning and I go ahead and I turn it on, Matt starts before me um, with work. So it's great because this morning we were talking about it. When I come in every every day, I'm like, good morning, like as if we work in a real office space. Um, but yeah, he's my coworker, so yeah, it's fun. But anyways, um, so I come in in the morning, I turn on my my tree, and then I you know log into my computer and get everything ready and stuff. So I love my office space. It's nice. It's cozy. And to think that this all started off to be it was just an empty storage area that we were thinking about making it all like a closet and it just became beautiful and I love it. And Matt sometimes gets a little salty about it because he was like, you got the bigger office. But he didn't want this one because he didn't like the spacing that's in here. It's all different spaces, like the coffee bar area. No. Nope. It's a little awkward. That's not what he I said. Not, nope. Yes, it is. That ain't what I said. It is. He didn't want it. So it, I saw what, the It makes her feel better. So I just <laughs> let her believe it. Okay, then what, what go, was it? Carry on. No, go, ahead. go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. I saw the potential. So. Mm -hmm. I got this office. I can't wait for my double doors though. I really, I cannot wait for that. We are working on doors. Um, it's coming, but we've had so many projects and we've done so many things. So all of that will be done next year where we finish up the basement and really concentrate on finishing up projects that have really just set what dormant <laughs> until we can kind of get back around to them uh, with our son being in football and all those things. It's just, we just haven't had time to do <sighs> the little details that need to be completed. So. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. Please let me know what you guys think about our trees. This is just the icing on the cake. Um, if you guys saw last week's vlog, I'll make sure we link it in the description that the kids have their trees now. We both have our office trees. So upstairs is getting done for sure. If you guys saw, I had a little glimpse of um, my chaos and madness on IG. If you guys aren't following us over there, make sure that you do at this George Clay. Um, but I'll be show showing some behind the scenes of our tree because it's all done. It's beautiful. And I can't wait to share it with you guys next week. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Please make sure you like, subscribe, you know, share it with a friend and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.